Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we will see about the Unify Identity new updates. Unify Identity is an on-premises license-free unlimited user solutions which will provide a centralized access management solutions and which empowers the users with one-click Wi-Fi, one-click VPN, one-click door access as well as the EV charging permissions. So let's get started. So to get Unify Identity Enterprise Basics plan which is free, you need a Unify OS on version 3.2.9 and if your version on 3.2.5 it still works. So I will put down a community link node so you can check if you are on the version 3.2.9 you will get a new update for the basics free plan for the Unify Identity. Okay and uh, you need a UDM Pro Unify consoles. So this is a requirement and what features it includes. I will put down a difference uh, between the basic free plan and the paid plan and what are the requirements of the console. So before creating a workspace, we need to take a backup of the Unify consoles for the console settings. Once backup is created, you can click on continue and agree the terms and conditions. And we have to or click on upgrade now so once you click on upgrade now click on continue and then it will activate the unify identity services and it will take some time yeah you can check what is unify identity uh, on the unify website you can look for what kind of services one click wi-fi one click vpn integrated services all in one free solutions with the Unify Identity Enterprise app. So I have to sign in to the Enterprise Manager and set up the workspace. So here is my uh, Unify Identity Enterprises. I have to click on the Unify Enterprise Manager and sign in. So before that, I have to go to my Unify Network app and install the Unify Enterprise Identity and log in it. So I have to accept the uh, verification link on the email address. So here I got the install page options. So I'm installing the Unified Identity Enterprise on my iPhone. Once that is done, I have to log in. After login, you will see the page of uh, Wi-Fi, camera, EV charging and VPN all in one on the dashboard. So this is the workspace on the UDM console and later on you can add your other Unify console like I have other consoles running on the Unify Cloud Gen 2 Plus which we, I will add later on. So this is the dashboard of the Unify console so you can see Wi-Fi, VPN, camera and app that's and the camera you will see what the camera you have and what the default size. And if you click on the VPN, it will connect it to the wired card VPN as you can see here, connect to the Wi-Fi. And if you click on the Wi-Fi, it will connect to the Wi-Fi. And here you can check the tools and the admin users and the notifications. So under the tools, you can see what site it has. And you can add a site or you can create a new workspace. So you have to go into the Unify Identity Enterprise Manager and add a new workspace like you have to add a new consoles so after logging in into the unify identity enterprise manager you can uh, check the overview of what organization what services it gives and what session and approval everything you can check on this dashboard overview like you now you can check the overview what one click wi-fi one click vpn and ev session everything is enabled you can add a member as well as the user you can allow it you can check the organization chart also also it provide what or what service you want to enable on this by uh, unify you id interferences you can see even enable the iot wi-fi also with one click if you click to enable iot it will create the iot networks and here is the workflow and approvals like you can create an approvals bug here and this is a system logs, admin activity, everything. So you have to click on the settings and uh, unify consoles. You can 
add the console so right now i have already added the cloud key gem to here you can just of the site so i have added the cloud key gem to plus as my other console so i can show you uh, the other sites on that Unify identity app so here you can check all the sites right now you go to the default set this is my cloud kitchen to plus here you can check the cameras and the list of connected clients and everything on that vpn so if you go to the dashboard and you can check here you can check for the wi-fi check for the camera this is for the udm pro and this is for the cloud kitchen to five four camera you can monitor the camera for here uh, also, the Unified Console have a desktop app on the Windows and the Mac OS. So I'm running the Mac OS. So I've installed the software on the Mac OS. And once it is installed, you will get the Unified Identity Enterprises on the taskbar. It will show you the notification and everything of all the Unified Identity Enterprises. So I'm installing. Once it is installed, you will see it will show up on the top and after logging in the Unified Identity Guides. Right now, I have to use that admin, I mean the domain name which was provided. Afterward, you can change the domain name to use and with custom domain you want to use, you can set up and it will uh, the ubiquity will accept the request and the your domain will also be changed so you can sign in with a mobile app also so right now i'm using the domain and provided by the ubiquity again it says login here and i have to log in that and i have to Upon the verification and sign in under the 2FA, and once it is verified, I mean, you will open the Unify Enterprises here, and you can see the dashboard, Wi Fi, one click Wi Fi, VPN, and everything. You can see the notification and everything. So, this is the dashboard, I mean, the desktop app of the Unify identity on your Mac OS, and even you can install on windows so this is a very cool features on the unified identity enterprises the basics run you can see here and you can control everything the unify protect unify vpn wi-fi and through the unify identity enterprise app so this is a very cool features i hope we get more features